Welcome back to the video. Today we're going to do a video of another topic talk. Today we're going to talk about uh, what kind of thing you should upgrade as a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about like what thing you should upgrade, when you should do it, and kind of the knowledge if you should know of the tech and equipment. Let's take this off. Let's make it a bit easier here. Sorry for my hair's a bit weird. Just have me done it, sorry. But, okay. Are we dogmen? I'm going to look at the screen. I have set up the camera which has made me look a little, looks a little bit better. If I'm looking down, I'm looking over here. I'm looking at the, the recording setup. I'm looking over here. I'm checking the. And I have my camera straight on. So if I look straight at the camera, it looks like I'm talking to you guys. So, um. Oh, upgrading thing can be good. We need to know what to upgrade first and when to do so. The main thing you should upgrade is as a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, it's your mic, your camera, your game recording or capture card, and sound. I'll talk to each one in its own reasons. The mic. The mic is the input for your recording, for example, the video right here. A headset mic could be a good starting mic place. So a gaming headset, you know, maybe a headset from a little earplugs. It can be a good starting place, but not always the best quality. As by upgrading the mic, you have your voice much more clearer and much nicer to listen to. You, you may have like um you when we headset mic, it sounds like you're going through a tunnel. <laughs> good. The camera. The camera is a good place is what you can see. You know, for example, me, my background, it could know, basically just me in the background or friend with you or something like that. A webcam is a good starting place which I do recommend, which I'm using, which I think is good, you like to tell yourself down below. It always not be the best stuff. It can be cheap and a good quality, but some of the downsides are of a, a camera or webcam is that you can't really upgrade. The best pricing is like cheapest maybe £30 up to maybe 60 The price range of your webcams. By the end they're all about the same quality. You can't really upgrade them. The only bit you can really do is upgrade them if to a nice you know maybe a Sony or big you know you might get 4K or you know Auto focus, that kind of stuff. It makes it a bit easier to do. That's the downside. Webcam is always a very good use for a long term use. I do recommend it's much better than a computer. You could use your phone, but up to you. I recommend a, rep, a webcam, but if you have money or no, you don't have money, use a phone or use a, your computer or just buy a camera. It, there's some other stuff you have to buy, but you have to do a bit of research for that. We'll be coming up. The gaming or capture card quality, which makes it um, a, look a lot better. There's not a lot of um, pixels that come up, you know, it's all clear and smooth. And higher the pixel rate, higher the quality. I'm not going to mint. But yeah, how, by upgrading them, you can get maybe, you know, uh, you know, most web cap, most game ones, gaming capture cards, might start with a 70, 20, I don't know what the, P, it's like, um, 720p, which you can upgrade to maybe, um, 1080p, 1080p, don't, don't know what the things are, and then you can maybe upgrade to 4k, which will depend on your console, TV, or equipment you have. Game quality makes it your stuff a lot more smoother, a lot cleaner to watch, and a lot it doesn't really cut stuff out. The sound. The sound is more a little judgmental, but it can be all the kind of stuff. It could be ranging to your headset, it could be from speaker from your laptop, a speaker from a Wii Bluetooth speaker. Something like that. The thing can be good. 
but you might say, YouTuber, Twitch, why are you winning the obvious out? This is where it comes in. As I'm going to talk me, let me talk my headphones. Like these ones are, I do recommend. I don't know what brand of, but the Turtle Beach. I'll describe why. As a YouTuber, you might want to hear your editing. Yes, you can hear good stuff from a speaker or you know a laptop uh, speaker, but you're not going to get the same quality of editing sound if you're not using a headset. So, the type of headphones I recommend you to upgrade or to improve on is headphones that are over ear, which are more Kind of like these, which they'll cover your ears, which will cover your ears, which will also have 3D audio, which it helps with like uh, tracking sounds. I mean, it sounds better, you know, in games, like if you did a gaming stream or you did a, a reaction to 3D audio, that kind of helps. And another benefit is that the, uh, with the kind of headphones is no noise cancelling but it means any sound from your know, you might hear a bash on the table like this you may not hear that maybe outside the hallway and you're trying to edit you won't hear that all you're going to be hearing is your editing or the live stream itself and it helps you to focus on stuff you have to do not around the other stuff around you Game headsets are a good start. I do recommend game headset because they normally have multiple other qualities. You know, game he headset might have, like, for example, Fortnite, guns, or shooting, you know, from over here, and you won't hear it. I may close on the left side and the right. Then most of them do have noise cancelling, or can reduce noise outside. And they're normally pretty good. They can be pretty cheap, but they're normally pretty good. So those are the kind of things that you should have put. You know, your mic to make sound clearer, your camera to make your video quality a bit more sharper, your capture card to make your gaming quality a bit more smoother and maybe a bit more high res, like your know, 4K, and your sound to make it sound, make your editing or Twitch stream to you sound a little bit better. And to help focus, of course. So, of course, you know what stuff to buy and upgrade, but one of the important things is to know when to buy them. They can all be, all be good upgrading stuff, but you need to know when to buy them. We're going to talk about two things about when. First of all, is either, if when, for example, I'm going to talk about these headphones. You might talk, you might say, these heads that have been, there can be two factors of when. It can either be when your head is broken, which of course you'll need to get a new one at the time, or if they may be like five, maybe a couple of years, you know, maybe three or four, you know, three or four years, using the same equipment, and it's maybe about time to use upgrade as more, even just in a couple months of time, Mics, uh, cameras can always improve very quickly, which is always a good time. So, either you have used the same equipment for the last couple of years, or it's broken. This is where upgrading when I've been when I don't know why, but there's more the budget part of upgrading. A budget of equipment or the budget you have is really dependent. Upgrades. If you have more of a higher budget, maybe the power, these heads are for about 30, and you upgrade to maybe a 70 pound headset. You know, maybe instead of gaming, in more editing style headsets. Or, you know, headset to so upgrade where you have more noise capacity. The budget can improve. If you are a high budget, you can really upgrade. If your budget is like a medium, in fact, your normal budget is you might just maybe your budget of 40. 
I don't have a budget, I don't have the cost to buy an upgrade, but I have a budget to buy the same pair, which I still say, still good, I still use them, which I don't see the point in me upgrading if I don't have a high enough budget. So, I'll just buy the same ones, because I know they're useful and nice. If you have a lower budget, this is where little things come in. You can either buy, you can go for a cheaper uh, like a headset, maybe you have a budget of 20 pounds. These could come in with a cost, we we'll say. You can either buy a wee cheaper one, you can maybe buy some little earplugs, which may be or you'll buy a cheaper microphone. It all depends with you and your budget. Which could sound a bit worse, but users time will tell. Or you could wait and save up money to have a bit more a higher budget. Which you can maybe save that like £20 to a 40 we can buy the same pair. But it really depends of how things are going for you. Most likely if it's broken, if your budget's pretty low and you don't have any spare pens, spare like spare equipment, like you know, a mic, camera, I don't know, headphones, you might have to go for a cheaper option. So cheap option though can be pretty good for short time use for a couple months, but I rev I rec I don't recommend using like a you know a, a headset mic for about ten years. I don't recommend that. If you do for about two years and it's going pretty well, upgrade to a nice wee USB mic. Same. So yeah, that's wee summary there. So when is either went broken or you've been using the same equipment for the last couple of years. Your budget has a effect of how you buy things. I put the kind of sum up points in the description. So you can, you know the thing you want to buy, or what type of things, you know when, and you know your budget. But here's the next question, what do I buy? This is where you have to do a bit of research and stuff like this. So, knowing when to buy and what is good. But why if you don't know the knowledge about technology of that what you're buying? For example, a headset. I'm going to go use for headset for example for the video. Um, let's see. You need you need to do research of what you are buying to understand what features it has, what costs, what's the and anything else, the details stuff like that, colours, sizes, stuff like that. The best way to do research, which is my opinion and it has worked for me, could be different for you, could be different for you. But, so, this is literally based on the UK, so maybe a bit different you know, to, your, you know, to your Americans or people of other countries. You first will have to go to a website, which is why I recommend um, I'll, sh I'll show you for example. So, there we go. So, as you see, we are on Curry's PC World, which is a website in the UK where you can buy technology. So, what I recommend is, for example, I'm going to look for headphones. You, you got like maybe different things here. You got different tabs to make it a bit easier. Oh look, so look, you got TV and audio, headphones, and you can sort by a category you know, from ear on your over ear, noise cancelling, wireless, sports, different brands, and it's up to you. But I'm going to go for noise cancelling headphones. So I'm going to load up anything which is in North Captain headphones. So, this is the next part. So these headsets are broken, which I'm currently using, and I'm going to look for a new pair of North Captain headphones. But then, by just looking 
like these headphones currently, the budget's pretty high, which I, um, anyway, tech support, which I can see, I don't have the budget. So I'm going to go to get pricing, I'm going to set to one pound, I'm going to set to 40 quid to six pounds, which I'll do a refresh. Oh no, no, no. Which I've now just pulled up some stuff for me to use. As we can see, some stuff is coming through. We got the wireless, no Bluetooth, got earplugs. So, no. Don't look like the flash on this website. But, for example, maybe. Maybe I have a budget, higher budget to me. 50 to a quote 100. Okay, so I'm gonna be such here, keep researching, and you might get more results. As you can see, then you could also go the rating, which can be pretty good. You can also do the types of headphones and to our features, you know, features, colors. But I'm going to go for these Sony's right here, which are they look pretty good. I do recommend like Curry's or Amazon if you're in the UK. Don't know about um, Americans, but up to you. So by just looking here, I can see these are wireless Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones, black. Basically, black means uh, the colours in. And look, I can change the colours. Oh, and also tell me so project features. Over your ear headphones, which are the same as these. Back life for, for five hours. Google Assistant. Different things. Microphone, remote, uh, video control, which overall pretty handy. Pretty handy. So I can go down here, look at some the project information, which I would read that if I was just doing normal research. You can keep going down, and then you got couple of reviews, couple of reviews, can't speak, but you know, I'll click here, and then look, oh, 8.5 out of 10 stars, design, comfort, sound quality, worth of money, which overall have seemed good. Maybe we can go sort by most recent. Um, oh, great back ride. Oh, he's a bit pricey. Okay, great back ride, comfy and light, which I would be happy with that. By right, Mark, and he's saying he's just. Uh, He's, he's happy with his um, product and he's happy with the, um, you know, the headset, but he says a bit better, which uh, I can't disagree with agree because I don't own any pairs like this. So, you might say, well, that's all good, you know, I can change the colour, change stuff, what about the views? What I do recommend if you highlight I like the name. Control C. Head over to uh, YouTube for example. Then you go to go to the search bar. Bit to move to here. And go to copy the same link into not really a link, but copy the uh, the product, you know, the, the headphones into the search bar on YouTube. And we'll do that to you. You got different like little battles, you know, one headset to the other. You got a uh, setup, yeah, not really my thing. Unboxing review, which I would normally click on. Now as you can see. We can just scroll down and well, as you can see, we are getting to views. Some people 
just in what I recommend. So check product stuff, you know, on a website. That, oh, thank you, Trace. I thought we it's a bit annoying to be pop up. So, so you've got a product, copy, copy name in, put it into, I don't know, for example, YouTube. If you want like a, a video review for YouTube or Google and check some of these videos out, which could work for you but it works for me. So basically that's what I recommend for the research part of a product. So I guess that's about it really. That's how you can find and upgrade um, equipment. Upgrading equipment can all be this and that for you, but what I recommend you don't always go for the best project stuff, go for cheaper stuff in the beginning. It's like if you're going to start a Twitch channel, don't buy your like £100 mic, £100 webcam, because if you do, you may not like doing Twitch stream, and that's about a waste of a couple hundred pounds. What I recommend is maybe buy a Wii. Maybe you just use your phone or may use a weak game headset at the beginning and if you enjoy what you're doing, your YouTube, Twitch, that kind of stuff, then maybe think about what you're doing. But knowing the knowledge that you have from the video or just general knowledge yourself about equipment, then that's when you think, really think about upgrading stuff. All this stuff and notes I have been taken is stuff I have learned myself. Or research. If you, I want to copy of this blog, but if you want the sum up points, it will be in the description of the video. So I would say thank you very much for watching the video. If you want, if you will, uh, thank you very much for watching the video. See you all in the next video. But first of all, if you would like to follow me on my social media. On Instagram, it's at bcroman04. For Twitter, it's at bcroman04. YouTube, go to YouTube search bar, type in bcroman. Go to filter, and then sort it by channel. I should be the top results up there. So, this is the video. Thank you very much. Just remember, know what you're spending and know what you're buying. So, thank you very much for watching. Now, see you in the next video. Goodbye.